Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we're at the eldest launch of the 2020 range and we're looking at the flagship Buccaneer Clipper. It's still eight feet in width and it's still huge. So if you're interested in knowing more about the Clipper, stay with me and join me after this. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. So what can I tell you about the Clipper for 2020? It's still eight feet wide, it has single beds at the back and it has a centre washroom and shower room. Unfortunately, because this is the launch, I don't have the full specifications on length and weight and cost. Although I'd imagine it's still going to be up there at at least £34,000 and it'll certainly still be around 8.2 metres in length. Like the standard range on the Buccaneer, this is going to come with the electric self-leveling system, which is a big plus and makes life a lot easier. Let's have a look at the front. We get the Alco hitch and the ATC control. We get the huge front window, the massive front locker. And this is also where you're going to be able to store the gas. Let's have a look down the near side. As we come to the near side, we see we still have the silver sides, which I absolutely love. We've got purple and silver decals. And at the front here, we've got the whale gas point for those that like to cook outdoors like we do. As we come down, we see we've got the locker here at the front and the single one piece door with large window. Over the top is the awning light. And behind that, we've got the vents for the fridge and freezer unit inside the kitchen area. The Buccaneer is still on the twin axle. Lovely there, the anthracite alloy wheels. And as we continue our journey down, we have one of the bedroom windows that looks over into one of the single beds. Underneath, we have storage as well, so you can get underneath that bed from the exterior. The near side's looking good. Let's head round and have a look around the back. So here we are at the rear of the Buccaneer. And this is where we're going to find our first difference. Instead of the silver B, we now have a grey decal with a B and the Buccaneer above. So nice back end as always. Let's now carry on and have a look at the offside. And at the offside, we find the second bedroom window overlooking the other single bed and storage below as well. So we can get under that bed too. As we move along, we have our toilet cassette for the center toilet and washroom. There's no flush because it does flush from the onboard water tank. Here we have our kitchen window and we finish off here with a lounge window, battery box and our water pumps by whale. So there we have it. That's the exterior of the Buccaneer. On the roof, we're also going to find the aerial and the solar panel. Let's head in and see what awaits inside. So as we come inside the Buccaneer Clipper, we can see that this is a flagship caravan. It's the luxury end of the market. We've got a huge lounge, lovely colours for this year. There's USB charging points and lots of overhead storage. As well as the front windows and skylight, we also have a huge sunroof that's about three feet long letting in loads of light above us and it is it's a lovely lounge so we've had a look at that let's head on over into the kitchen so here we are in the kitchen of the clipper we've got a huge worktop space here two plug sockets for plugging in your kettles and toasters we've got the massive sink that we've seen on the eldest range this year the full depth there we've got plenty of cupboards and drawers and we've got the three burner gas hob, an electric plate, and then the Thetford grill and oven. Overall, we've got a really nice kitchen. Let's just have a quick look on the near side to have a look at the fridge and the micro microwave. So over on the near side, we have the Russell Hobbs microwave. That's at a good height, 
for people my height. And then we have the Dometic fridge and freezer. And we open it up, we've got shelving in the door, shelving in the compartment itself, and a very good size freezer. Next to the fridge, we have a huge wardrobe space. There's space above and below for all your coats and clothing. And this is also where we're going to find the Aldi central heating tank for the wet central heating. So that's brilliant additional storage. What we need to do now is venture a little bit further back and just have a look at the shower and the toilet and washroom. And here we are a bit further back. To my left on the near side of the caravan, we have a really good sized shower. It's also got a towel rail in there and the shower itself is huge. That is a fantastic shower room and I love the tile effect sides. So that's really exciting for me. Over on the off side, we have the toilet and washroom. It does have the fixed door. So you can close that for privacy. And if there's more than two of you staying in the caravan, there's also a sliding partition door so you can separate this part from the toilet and wash facilities. Let's have a closer look in here. In the toilet and washroom, we had a really nice Thetford toilet. There's lovely wood finishing in here and there's the basin. There's plenty of storage. We have a cupboard on the wall and below the sink. And there's also the heated towel rail, the mirrors there and the toothbrush holder. So overall, it's a nice little room. I think what we'll do next is head back and have a look in the bedroom of the clipper. Back here in the bedroom, we have the two single beds. They're certainly going to be adequate for people up to about six feet in length. We've also got plenty of storage above and we have a chest of drawers here. There's also a television point just up here on the right hand side, but there isn't a bracket, so you may need to have that fitted. There's also a very useful three pin plug and USB charger just down here. So on a night time, you can charge your gadgets and put them on there. It's also a great space for having a cup of tea in bed in the morning. So there we are. There's plenty of floor space because the van's eight feet wide. And overall, I love the finishings and the choice of the colour in wood. So there we are. Let's head back into the lounge and just have a quick summary. So there we have it, the Buccaneer Clipper, the flagship single bed model from Eldis. At the moment, I am limited on the details I can give you because unfortunately they haven't been released. But I would imagine as well as all the other things, this will have the underfloor heating like previous models. So, overall, that is the Clipper. It's got more gadgets and bits that you're probably going to want. It's on the twin axle and it is eight feet wide. If you're interested, I suggest you have a look on the website or visit a dealer and go and have a closer look. So, as always, thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.